We hope we have dismantled the myth that performing quantitative risk analysis on projects is complicated, esoteric, difficult, and only reserved for advanced professionals in statistics, mathematics, or actuarial sciences. It is possible to build an introductory quantitative risk management model for a project using simple software on top of Excel with suitable macro-coded applications. On the other hand, we hope that we have also justified why we do not recommend qualitative risk analysis given the enormous limitations and weaknesses of this so-called methodology. If you have not done so yet, I suggest you navigate to www.dtsimulator.com where you can download a free version of this Excel software that allows you to perform this type of Monte Carlo simulations without any complications. As we have shown, this is just a workbook loaded with powerful Excel macros. Let us summarize the steps to perform a quantitative risk analysis for a project. One. Define the risks of your project. This is probably also the first step in qualitative risk analysis. Two, each listed risk must now fall into categories according to the two dimensions, frequency or probability and impact or severity. Instead of using colors and arbitrary and subjective classifications for the categorizations of each risk, we use probability distributions here. A discrete probability distribution to describe the frequency or probability and another continuous probability distribution to describe the impact or severity. Three, we quantify each risk as a product of its frequency and its impact. That is, how many times would the event eventually happen multiplied by the monetary impact or severity that each event would have when it occurs. Four, a Monte Carlo simulation is now run. This process essentially consists of using the random number generation capabilities that Excel has, along with the distributions previously defined in the previous step. Thus, we generate hundreds or thousands of possible scenarios. Five, with these scenarios, we create a database of inputs and outputs that constitutes the nucleus from which we generate all subsequent analysis. Six, we interpret the output graphs at three different levels that allow a deep analytical understanding of the risk relationships, the total financial impacts, and the ranking of what is important or not in the map of existing risks. Seven, we make decisions what to do with the risks, how to prioritize them, how to develop a mitigation plan. This is, in essence, the introductory foundation in quantitative project risk management. Obviously, there are still some elements that manage to make the risk analysis more sophisticated and detailed. The correlation of the input variables, the risk strategies before mitigation, and the residual or post-mitigation strategies. The choice of best probability distributions based on methods of statistical adjusting or pre-existing historical data. The generation and interpretation of some other types of tornado charts. All of these are topics that undoubtedly, when incorporated, improve the robustness and sophistication of quantitative project risk models. However, we have laid the foundation. These seven steps carried out with care and detail, complete a robust methodology for quantifying the risks of a project.